gals and gents, I'm super excited to be back with you guys tonight. And the reason for me being here is because I have been reading a couple of you guys' comments. Some of you say I haven't been posting enough makeup tutorials, while others say you're upset because you want me to post more colorful looks. I read each and every one of you guys' comments and here is the look that some of you have been waiting for. I know I've been in a natural, neutral eye. I don't even know what to call it, but I've been into like neutral, natural makeup. I haven't been wearing colorful eyeshadows, so that's why my tutorials haven't been colorful. But today, I sat down, I played with some of my older MAC eyeshadows, some MAC pigments, and I came up with this look for you guys. We've got gold on the lid, we've got purple in the crease, blue under the lower lash line, and we've got purple lips. So if you've been following me for a long time, you know I love purple. And what better way to get back into color than to incorporate purple into the look. So I hope that you guys enjoy this colorful look. If you want to see how I created it, definitely stay tuned. Okay guys, are y'all ready for the tutorial? The first thing that you guys wanna do is use an eyeshadow primer, and the one that I'm using today is the Sedona Lace Stick It To Em eyeshadow primer. I love this primer. It is super good at keeping your eyeshadow on and preventing it from creasing. Next, we're gonna take a medium purple eyeshadow. It has slight shimmer in it, and this one is Max Vibrant Grape Eyeshadow. We're going to apply this in the crease area just to add a little bit of color and depth into the crease. Now we're going to move on to the eyelid area. We're going to use an eyeshadow base. This one is NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Gold. We're going to apply this all over the lid area and pat it in with our fingers. On top of that, we're going to apply a MAC pigment. This one is Old Gold. This one is from the Hey Sailor Matte Collection. I love this pigment. Do you see how vibrant the gold on my eye is right now? Like, I love this color. But use any gold pigment or eyeshadow that you have in your collection. Now I'm going to go into my crease with a color that is a little bit darker than my skin tone. I'm using a eyeshadow from my Naked palette. Yeah. Duh! Naked palette. This one is called Buck. It's this matte kind of medium brown eyeshadow here. We're going to apply this right over the purple eyeshadow that we applied in the crease first. And this is just going to help blend it out to transition it well. For a highlight today, I didn't want to take away from the bright lid area, so I decided to use Max Arena Eyeshadow, which is like a matte peachy eyeshadow, and we're going to apply this right underneath the brow bone. Now we're going to deepen up our crease with an eggplant kind of dark purple. This is a matte color. This is Max Shadowy Lady, one of my favorite eyeshadows ever. We're just going to add this in the outer V just to add a little bit of depth to this look. So you guys know I'm super obsessed with black eyeliner, right? So I'm using Max Feline Eye Coal. We're going to put this right on the lower lash line. 
So I'm going to take another pigment from the Mac Hay Cellar Collection. What's this one? This one is navel blue, and we're going to smudge this right under the bottom lash line just to add a pop of blue to our lower lash line. You guys know I'm obsessed with blue, right? Okay, I love winged eyeliner. That's nothing new. So I used a little bit of this Coastal Scents Define line. This one is in Raven. It's just the black one with an angled brush, and we're going to wing out the eyeliner on our upper lash line, of course. Next, we're going to apply lashes, and I use the Cream Eyelashes number 415s, and this one is on my eyes right now, so you can't see it, but I used it with my Revlon Lash Adhesive Glue. I love this adhesive. It's amazing. Next, we're going to apply a little bit of mascara. I chose to use the L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black. I love this mascara. I just opened up this. I haven't used this mascara in ages, and I forgot why I loved it so much, but now I remember. Okay, so our eyes are done now. Let's go ahead and talk about the blush. Well, the face, okay? So I already applied my under eye concealer, my foundation. For under eye concealer today, I used my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer um, in NW40, and I just picked up NW45, but whatever. And we also are gonna use the MAC Match Master Foundation. Well, that's what I use. You can use whatever you have, honey. I use shade 7.5. For bronzer today, this should be no surprise. I used the CoverGirl Bronzer in Ebony Bronze. I love this bronzer. And the contours of my cheeks, ooh, just pops. Do y'all see that? Pop. So for blush today, we're using the Milani Baked Blush. This one is in Terrasol. I love this blush. We're using it on the cheeks because the eyes and the lips are popping, so we need something that's very natural, neutral looking in this look, okay? So now for the lips. I'm using a little bit of Lush's Lip Conditioner and Honey Trap just to moisturize my lips. For lip liner, I'm using the NYX Purple Rain Lip Liner Pencil. I love this. It's a purple color. Amazing. It's like a medium bright purple, kind of like the color of my shirt. Matter of fact, it is the color of my shirt. For lipstick, we're using Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick and Berry Hot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, favorite, share, all that good stuff, okay? I love you guys. Definitely have more tutorials coming for you. Definitely more colorful looks for you guys. So definitely stay tuned. Bye, guys.